Hey Glam Fam, welcome to today's video. I have another new foundation. I have the brand new Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. We're gonna see how this wears on my mature over 40 skin. If you're new here, I'm Christy. I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button and click that post notification bell. Join our beautiful Glam Fam. We're here every Friday and Sunday and we'd love for you to become part of our family. Please give this video a huge thumbs up when you guys hit the like button and when you comment below, it really does help my videos out. You can follow me at Christy Allure on TikTok and Instagram and check out my merch, Glamorous Life Collections. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, Glam Fam, let's dive right into this. So we are testing out the brand new Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. This is based off and inspired by the ambient lighting powders. You guys already know what a huge fan I am of Hourglass in general, but especially these ambient lighting powders. They're magical. They are meant for us ladies over 40. If you are new to my channel, I do have over 40 skin. I'm 44 years old. I have very sensitive skin. I have fine lines, wrinkles, and I have acne prone skin so I have to be really mindful of what I put on my skin now I just reviewed the brand new Lancome tint Adol care and glow foundation you can check out my full review on that I loved that foundation it was absolutely stunning it went on probably the most beautiful foundation I've ever put on my skin I'm not gonna lie to you it was gorgeous my only drawback is it has SPF and it is very you can smell the perfume to the point where I've worn it for five days now and as much as I love it I can't wear it anymore it's just the scent bothers me and I'm just afraid it's going to further aggravate my skin down the road so that's why I'm very excited to try this out this is kind of a new concept that a lot of companies are doing and these luxury companies are really trying to get involved in it and put out a foundation that has like that radiant glow without giving that dewy effect. So you're almost getting that traditional satin, almost semi-matte finish. Now I have already put this on my skin because I did film this already and I had some technical difficulties. So I am excited for you guys to see how it actually applies on my skin. This does have a 12 month shelf life and this was made in Korea. So a lot of these companies are actually going down the road of Korea and Japan lately with these luxury brands. Typically luxury brands are made in like Italy and France and that's why you're always getting much better quality than you do with some of the drugstore or more affordable brands. This is available in 32 shades. I did purchase two shades, but shade six is my perfect match. I also got shade seven. We'll kind of touch on that in just a second, but let's just kind of quickly go over the details. This foundation runs at $58 with the traditional one ounce of 30 mils that pretty much is in every foundation out there. So you're paying a little under $2 per mil at $1.93. That's not bad for a luxury foundation. I've seen ones a lot higher than that so I appreciate that this is a weightless liquid foundation that delivers buildable medium coverage it's inspired by the iconic ambient lighting collection this foundation is infused with blurring spheres to minimize the look of imperfections for skin that looks smooth even and glowing it has those light diffusing effects for up to 16 hours. This transfer resistant formula is also resistant to humidity and sweat. It's vegan, cruelty free, gluten free. The highlighted ingredients are light diffusing pigments that deliver a natural soft focus finish that helps protect against blue light. It also has blurring spheres to minimize the look of imperfections, fine lines and wrinkles, white tea extract, vitamin E and antioxidants. Let's take a look at the other ingredients in this product. As you guys always know, I love really seeing what's in these products. And the first ingredient is water, which I very much appreciate. And then you can see the other ingredients in there. You guys, if you can point out anything that you see stands out like a red flag, let me know. It has the typical dimethicone. And then you'll see like the white tea extract, the vitamin E, and then some of the other generic names. But I don't see any coconut oil, so I was very happy about that. 
that. One of our beautiful Glam Fam sisters, Gucci, introduced me to an amazing app on my phone. So it is called Yuka. Is it Yuka? Yuka. Thank you so much, Gucci. I love this app. You can go in there. You can already see my history of things I was looking up. You basically can scan the barcode and it will tell you all the ingredients that are, you know, may potentially be harmful. It is an amazing app and you can do that for food in here. I've been checking my food stuff as well. So I really like it. Thank you so much. You guys should definitely check out that app. It is so incredibly helpful. I usually do EWG, but I like this one even better and you can just scan and it's just a very basic information. I didn't do this product, but I really love that. So thank you so much. If you guys have any other suggestions when it comes to ingredients, please always drop a comment below. I love hearing from you guys. It really is amazing. So let's just tackle the shades really quick. So I did go with again, shade six, which is light medium with warm undertones. Oddly enough, shade seven is also light medium with warm undertones, but shade seven appeared a little bit lighter to me and a little bit more on the golden orange undertone side. So let's take a look at shade six and I pumped it out onto the cap and you guys can see that more olive brownish undertone and I really wanted you guys to be able to see the consistency up close. Now let's take a look at shade seven pumped up onto the cap and as you can tell, it definitely has more of like, I wouldn't say orange, I would say more yellow warm undertone. This shade six, just that more neutral olive undertone suits my skin type just a little bit better especially with having a self tan that's now kind of fading. But I'm gonna show you what shade six looks like up close and that's just in natural daylight on my iPhone. I just wanted you guys to see what it looked like wet and then that's blended dry. You can't even see it on my arm. So that's that just goes to tell me it is gonna be a really good matching. And then that's shade seven wet and then dried down. As you can tell, it didn't blend as well into my arm. You can still see it. That just showed me that wasn't the right shade for me. Now let's take a look at it against my Vanish Stick foundation. That's one of my favorite foundations. I really, really love the best stick foundation on the market for sure. So Warm Ivory was the closest match I could ever get to. And that's what it looks like against shade six and shade seven. And then you can take a look at it more dried down outside. Whereas I still feel like as you can tell shade six in the middle just seems like my best match. So let's try this. Let's get started on this. I hope that covered everything. Has anyone got their hands on this? Comment below and let me know. I'll show you on camera. Now this pump is amazing. What I like is that this doesn't get dirty either. It's a very clean pump and it just goes on. So you can see it's dripping a little bit. So it has a little bit of liquidation going on there. I don't know if that's a word, but I made it up if not. And, but it's still thick enough where that's gonna give you some coverage. And then let's take a look at it kind of smear it around. So this is definitely probably gonna be a little too dark for me in the uh, winter time or yeah, in the winter time, I was gonna say, wait, is summertime? No, winter time when I'm a lot more pale, I'd have to go down probably and maybe to a neutral undertone. I don't know, I have to go when it finally launches in store. Right now it's only available online, but when it gets in store, we'll have to, I'm gonna go and play with the color. So I forgot to put my moisturizer on. This is just my Kills Ultra Facial Cream. I already have my dermatology on all my skincare products. Again, that's the only skincare I use and it's the only thing that works for my very sensitive skin. If you guys want to check out my other videos, I'll flash a card right there on all the dermatology videos I've done. You can use my code KRA20 and you'll always get 20% off. It's unlimited, it never stops. You get it off your entire purchase. So I know a lot of you have fallen in love with dermatology just as much as I have. So I'm so excited. All right, so I'm gonna use my Smashbox and this is just my primerizer. I, I like to double moisturize because I am more of a dry skin kind of girl, normal to dry skin. So I just wanna make sure I have a hefty amount of moisturization in my skin, if that's a word. I like to bring it down my neck because I do put on the foundation on my neck. So I just wanna make sure it's fully saturated. 
and then I like a good blur. So I use the Smashbox Photo Finish, and this is just the original one. It's more of a clear one. And we're just gonna smooth my pores out. This is the only one that doesn't break me out. Unfortunately, the hourglass ones do, so I cannot use those. I just stick to my method because I know this works. And I just know that this pretty much makes every foundation good. And when I'm trying out foundations, I don't like to try out new primers. I like to, unless that's what I'm reviewing, because I want to really put the foundation to the test, although I've already filmed this and I know it works. Now we're going to get to the foundation. So I'm just going to put this on with my finger. I like to apply my foundations this way. Uh, other people like to try sponges and all that stuff. I just know with a foundation like this, it, the best bet I'm going to get is blending it in with my fingers first and then I go in with my brush. So I'm just gonna put it on almost like I'm doing my moisturizer. I found that by applying my foundation this way, it goes on the absolute best and I get the best longevity out of my products. And I used to be like, no way Jose will I ever put my foundation on with my fingers. And now look at me. <laughs> my mom used to say, I don't know why you don't do that. It's so much, she was the finger person. She loved putting her makeup on with her fingers. You could see it in one of our videos that we did a long time ago. She said, why can't I just use my hands? And I was like, no, don't use your hands. And now I'm like, yes, it's the best thing. <laughs> so that's the first initial. That was one pump application. And that's what it looks like. So you can get a very natural coverage just by putting one pump. Of course, it's not gonna cover up any of my discolorization areas, which is mainly my cheek areas where I had breakouts in the past. Uh, and then I like to just kind of bring it down, almost like I'm doing moisturizer. And you can get a very, this is when you'll get that nice soft glow. Now, if you use more of a mattifying primer, you're not gonna do that. You're gonna get more of, you know, a matte dry down, but because I used more of a moisturizing primer, that's why. But I know this works and I know how beautiful this wears because I've now worn it for eight hours and it wore absolutely beautiful. It looked eight hours later, looked like I had just applied it, you guys. That's how insane it was. And I did two pumps. So I'm doing the same exact thing I already did. And I'm just gonna make sure everything is blended out. And that is how one pump looks. It is very beautiful. Like literally, I don't think I can get a better match than that. That just went right into my neckline, which is the indicator that that's the perfect shade. So for now, for where my self tan is right now, again, in the winter, I will have to go down a shade. Now I'm going to apply this with my brush. So we're going to do one more pump like that. And I like to just show you guys that I built it up and yet it still stayed really beautiful. I'm gonna take my BK Beauty 101. By the way, BK Beauty is doing their anniversary sale. So you everything, this entire site is 20% off. Don't use my code though. Usually I have Christy Tan at checkout and it gives you 10% off. You don't wanna use my code because you want the 20% off but I do have an affiliate link in the description box below. So if you can please utilize my affiliate link, I do get a little bit of a kickback for that. But I do want you guys to know that all of their brushes are gonna be 20% off. And if you combine it with like the bundles that they already have, you can get up to like 35% off. So I posted it yesterday on my Instagram. On Thursday is when it started and it will run until Monday, August 1st. I think it was 11.30, I'll put the time right there, uh, Central Standard time is when it ends so Monday August 1st is when it ends so make sure to utilize it because these brushes are amazing and you guys know how much I love the Angie the Angie brushes because they're so incredible for mature skin it's they have like the smaller version of this guy for a concealer it's amazing so I'm going to kind of take the leftover on my brush like that and this is how I like to build up my foundation again this is just the second pump it's just a little goes a long way with this foundation I actually it was a little too much that's about how much I did last time and it really held up beautifully. And that's gonna give you more coverage as you can see is, is when you pounce it in like that. Now, if you use a sponge, you're going to get more of a luminous effect because this is gonna pull away some of the product. 
I want the coverage, that's why I don't want to use the sponge. But it is really, really beautiful. It does give a very soft glow in such an beautiful beautiful way now they do have the new hourglass brush so this brush right here is 47 dollars it is beautiful i mean it is absolutely stunning this mimics the fingertip so this is supposed to go with this foundation i did buy it to try it out i don't personally like it for putting foundation on though i didn't realize how small it was going to be i should have known by the sizing of it but don't think you need to buy this with this where this is going to make it more magical to be honest for 47 dollars, i just don't know if it's worth it for that reason now if you're a brush collector like me then it's worth it because i loved it for my eyeshadow base they're not the first ones to come out with it, but I understand it mimics like the fingertip to really give you more control in precise areas. I do, again, I wouldn't mind going over my foundation with this, but for actual application, I just find like this, this type of brush is the best foundation brush you can ever use, <laughs> honestly. It really is just the most you can tell like it literally flawlessly puts the foundation on and places it. I don't have anything on this, you guys. I am literally, what I would do with a sponge is what I'm doing with the brush and whatever's left over in there is there. But I find the more I pounce my skin like this, the better my foundation stays. I don't know what it is. It's just something about that that I absolutely love it. So if you haven't tried this brush, definitely utilize it in the sale. And you guys, they have this BK Beauty travel set. How cute is this travel bag? And it has her little BK Beauty logo right there in gold, it has a gold zipper. It's a perfect little size. And you unzip it and it comes with the little travel brushes now this one's not included but this is the angie one that goes that is basically like the little tiny version of the bk beauty 101 and i love this one for placing in my concealer as well this is my extra one i have one around here for my actual that i use every day but this is like the little tiny bk beauty brush so this is the travel size and this is the normal size but really great brushes i mean you can see this one's nice and clean and pretty i want to keep it clean for when i travel so this is what i'll bring when i travel with me now and this is literally could be your overnight weekend you could just use these little eye brushes they're so cute and then you can use this as like a powder like you can use this for bronzer blush anything it's really awesome and then it has like a little uh Thing you can store stuff in there as well and it has a lot of room so you can put a lot of stuff in there so i love it so this is great you can get this for 20 percent off and that's amazing but yeah i like it what do you guys think of this foundation i really like it the one thing i'm going to say about this foundation is when i first put it on i wasn't like as blown away as i was with the lancome care and glow but i hated the scent with the lancome so that was already a huge drawback this has zero scent zero spf and I love that because there's the Lancome had chemical SPF, which is terrible for your skin. I'm gonna fast forward through this concealer and then I will come back and we'll set it down together. I'm just using my Huda Beauty Nougat uh, 2.5 2R from one size. And I'm just gonna set that down. All right, I'm gonna take my hourglass just because I wanna see how the ambient powders play along with it, or I want you guys to see, but this is my favorite. This is diffused light. And again, this is what this foundation was based off of, were these ambient powders that have these light reflecting spheres to help kind of mimic the lighting to give you more of like that soft glow Instagram filter effect. That's what the beauty of these powders have always been. And this one is so pretty for underneath the eyes. You can use dim light for all over the face. All right, so let me sculpt the face a little bit. Let's use my Hourglass Bronzer in, this is Nude Bronze Light. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous color bronzer if you're my skin tone. This is a little bit light for my self tanner, but you can also do Radiant Bronze Light. To me, that had more of a golden effect. This is more neutral, almost like uh, Benefit Hula Bronzer, like that tone. It's really pretty, kind of have my 
Viseart tone on there on this brush already though so that's why it's probably pulling a little bit darker but it's really pretty to really kind of sculpt the face you can bring that in and chisel out the chin area like that but everything plays nicely as you can tell still giving a very soft golden effect so this was the ambient and this is lighting volume three this was made for darker skin tone women but i love this if you're light to light medium skin tones this is such a beautiful golden bronzy color i love pulling this out especially during the summertime we'll just take my chica hodo brush I like to, oops, wrong one. Oh, that wasn't the one I wanted to do. This is the one I want. So I'm just gonna take those two, dust it off. This one is really pigmented, so you have to be a little careful with this guy. But she is really beautiful, and it just gives you like a nice bronzy glow to the skin. You can even bring that down a little. But it's really beautiful, just a really beautiful glow. And then I'll show you guys what the strobe light highlighter looks like. It's really beautiful. Wait, what brush was that? Did I use the wrong brush? I sure did. That's okay. We're gonna use this. This is my, I have two uh, Wayne Goss airbrushes. So look at how beautiful that strobe light is. Oh, you guys, seriously. Their highlighters are just like made for us over 40 girls. <laughs> I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, I am gonna jump off camera. I am gonna go film another video because now I had to kind of combine things. And then I will be back and give you guys my final thoughts and do all the rankings and stuff like that. So I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, you guys, so you're looking at take one of when I tried out this foundation and tried to film it, but that was the outdoor footage. I am wearing the new Pat McGrath little mini palette that they have at Sephora. It did come out really beautiful and it looks so gorgeous in natural daylight. Now let's take a look at footage from another day. Hey Glam Fam, we're on day two now and I wanted to do a check-in. This is at the end of the day. I wanted to film before the sun went down and I wanted you guys to see what it looks like. I was just in Sephora, so I was trying on some lip products. This is the Coral Dior Lip Oil. Oh my gosh, they're out of stock, but I need to get my hands on this color. It is really beautiful. I'll show you guys how pretty is that color. It looks so good, right? Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like in natural daylight and really give it a good wear test today. We are looking at over eight hours. I am so sweaty and hot and I want you guys, I'm like so sticky. I want you guys to see how beautiful that foundation still looks. It looks like I just applied this foundation, you guys. Even the girls in Sephora were like, oh my gosh, what do you have on your skin? I'm like, like it's the new hourglass they're like oh my gosh I wish we had it in store it's so beautiful and I was like I know I love this foundation and I feel like it wears even better over time and how unreal is that with the foundation usually it gets worse over time so I just want you guys to see because it is super warm and humid today here in Orange County which is very rare we usually have amazing weather uh, but yeah look how beautiful that is I mean the color tone is like it couldn't be more perfect. Even the girls were like, it's like literally a perfect match. This is shade six, light, neutral, warmish olive undertone, you guys, is pure perfection for me. Hourglass nailed this foundation. I like it so much better than the Lancome one because A, there's no fragrance and no SPF and it's not gonna irritate my skin. And the fact that I've had it on all day and it still looks really beautiful. <laughs> so yeah, we're, we're getting pretty close tie to that Makeup Forever HD skin. I love them for different reasons. Hourglass always does an amazing job. I do feel like the ingredients they use and that technology they put in their ambient powders is what they did in this foundation. And I can see why they based it off of that. I think it is stunning on mature skin, almost 45. This is beautiful. I didn't put as much powder on. I only have just a little bit of the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder and then I put the bronzer and the blush on. When I get a ton of compliments in Sephora, you know that's a good foundation. So very excited you guys and I will see you later on. I give this a solid 5 out of 5 Christy Allure score. 100% of me would recommend this foundation and pretty much to any skin type because I think this will do really well on oily skin types as well as normal, very dry, dry skin sometimes combo. 
mostly normal to dry, but it wore beautifully on my skin. Right now my skin has been very dry inside, but outside it's humid. So then it gets kind of a little, a little dewy in, in some respects, depending on what I'm wearing. But I really feel like this is really catered to all skin types. I love that there's no fragrance in here and I love that it played well with others. It didn't really oxidize that much either, like a tad bit, but literally you could not get a better match. You guys saw that, I'll show you another outside picture. Like it is the best shade match I've ever had, even more than the HD skin. And this was like the closest to date, one in one four. I will put all of my shades that I wear right there so you guys can see again one and one four and then this is shade six the Lancome I was 230 W Dior forever I always run 2WO and that's what I would probably compare this to is 2WO with Dior so if you're Dior 2WO I think six is going to be a perfect perfect undertone for you because it's that warm olive and it's more like of a neutral warm olive I would say so that's what I appreciate it where it's not too you know too dark sometimes the Armani ones could be a little too dark but I do wear 3.5 and that reminds me a lot of this as well from Armani Luminous Silk so Armani Luminous Silk I like 3.5 I like 5.75 and six. Those are my three probably favorite shades out of the Armani Luminous Silk. So if you're any of these shades, I really do think shade six is going to be beautiful for you. And 230W on the new Tint Adal Care and Glow was actually a pretty good match too. So any of those shade ranges, you're probably going to like six. I think seven is a little too yellow or golden if you're a twinsie to me for us so we'd probably have to go to like 7.5 which is more neutral undertone but i'll have to check that out in store and really kind of play with that undertone because i don't know where their neutral lies and that could be kind of confusing sometimes but i hope giving you my shade ranges help and i would say right now neck to neck is going to be this these two are just pretty much tied and then armani luminous silk would be literally right after that and then maybe NARS Longwear Radiant Foundation and that's Punjab. I wear Punjab or Fiji sometimes depending on how pale I am. Stromboli if I'm really self tanning and I'm getting dark but those are my typical foundation shades right there. And then Il Maquillage After Party 35 is that perfect neutral olive undertone as well. I absolutely love that foundation. Now that one is more of my full full coverage like Literally, I will wear that like on the most special day of my life because it is beautiful. It like literally looks like I have an Instagram filter. So I will have to keep playing with this. Again, this is only like my second day now wearing this foundation. So I still need to play with it a little bit more to really, and I always update you guys in my monthly faves and fails. And my monthly faves and fails, if I don't mention a product that I've reviewed, it's not because, that means it didn't fail, but it didn't quite make my faves. So that, I hope that helps you, guide you when I come up with my August, uh, in the first week of August, I'll do July favorites, faves x fails. So we'll see where I'm at with that one and the Lancome by then, but so far, yeah, this is solid 100%. It pretty much checked all the boxes I could ever ask for. And I absolutely love this foundation. I hope that was helpful to you guys. Thank you so much if you stuck around. I really appreciate all your love and support. Again, BK Beauty is having their huge anniversary sale and this is going on till Monday, August 1st utilize it it's a wonderful time to really be able to purchase a lot of these good brushes for 20 and even up to 35 percent off on some bundles as well so love supporting other youtubers lisa j did a phenomenal job with bk beauty and i love what she gives back in that company and her organization so be sure to check that out be sure to check out dermatology they've been running like 25 percent off sales you can always utilize my link but no matter what you always get kra a 20 at checkout so really excited I am very very impressed with this and a lot of times you can go on the hourglass website 
And if you've never purchased anything from them before, just sign up with the email and you'll get a 10% off and you'll get 10% off this foundation. And this way you don't have to wait for this for a sale. So I do have an hourglass affiliate link and I would be so happy if you guys can utilize that hourglass affiliate link as that is actually a bigger kickback for me on the hourglass site. So if you decide you want to purchase this, you've never purchased anything from the hourglass website and you have other stuff you want to purchase, maybe it's not this. If you utilize my hourglass link, it really does help me. So I appreciate that so much, you guys. I love you all. If you're new here, before you go, please remember to hit that subscribe button and click that post notification bell. Join our beautiful Glam Fam. We're here every Friday and Sunday and we'd love for you to become part of our family. Thank you so much. Please give this video a huge thumbs up when you guys hit the like button and when you comment below. It really does help support my channel. It's a free way to support my channel and make sure to use my affiliate links if you guys can or if you can please utilize my affiliate links. I greatly appreciate that. You can follow me at Christy Allure on Instagram, on TikTok Christy Allure and check out my merch, GlamorousLifeCollections.com and I'll see you on the next video. Bye guys. Love you. Thank you.